Alright guys, well today I've got a review here on my Galaxy Note 2 and this is Jedi X-ROM and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little review on it and then how to install it on the Galaxy Note 2. This is the Verizon edition. You can get this ROM also though for um, T-Mobile, AT&T, any of the other ones. I'm pretty sure he makes it for all the Galaxy Notes 2 uh, devices. So I'll give you links to the Verizon version but you can search XDA for it. So let's go ahead and check it out. I just want to show you this little green animation on unlock was pretty cool um, this is a really neat ROM I really really like it on the note 2 a lot of cool features on it first of all I'll just show you this your multi window has got almost all of your applications enabled in it so you can put use anything in there and edit and set it up how you want which is really nice and it's got this kind of clear look I like that better than like the white background um, let's go ahead and check out our toggles. You guys can see you have Wi-Fi hotspot already pre-set up so it's free. Um, obviously you're going to need to have an unlimited data plan otherwise it's going to use up your data plan but it is on there and set up. You have a uh, flashlight built up in there and all these other features, multi-window and so on and so forth. And you have a reboot menu here also to reboot to recovery really easily on this device. Obviously to do this, to install this, you're going to have to have uh, root access, unlock bootloader, and custom recovery installed. Um, let's go ahead and check out settings. So you do have customizations right here in Jedi ROM tricks. Otherwise, the rest of your settings are pretty standard. Nothing too different than uh, normal. Um, I would like to show you guys though really quick that you this is based off the newest uh, update, which is the uh, MC3 update for your device. And uh, so there you go, there's a couple things. Let's go ahead and check out the applications that come with this. It does come with a Note HD for using S Pen and doing notes and things like that. You do have Beats Audio Equalizer in there. And then you do have, you can, in, in, in the installer, it comes with a Roma installer. And you can install the 4.2.2 uh, camera, which gives you, what do you call it, Photosphere. And other things like that. Um, and then it does come right here. This is Jedi. ROM tricks, which is very cool. You can adjust your toggle orders, which are these toggles on the top, and what you want up there, what order they're in. Um, the ink color, which is the unlock screen at the beginning. I have green, obviously. You can adjust that. Uh, keyboard switcher, framework installer. If you want to ins uh, install exposed framework, um, you can do that. Pi controls. See if I can get it to work. There you go. It has Pi controls on it if you want to use them. You know, go back to home, however you want to do. Um, see what else we got here. Icon changer. And you guys can go ahead and let's do, let's actually do more icons right here. And do different icon packs and kind of theme your device with this, which is very nice. And you have GPS quick fix and cedar built in there also. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what else it comes with. You have S stuff. All your S Pen functionality obviously works because it's based on the OTA update. It's just really customized. It does have Trickster Mod for adjusting your GPU, your CPU, your voltages, and governors, and schedulers. And you can go through all that if you want to adjust those things. You have access to them with Trickster Mods included. You do have Voodoo Sound, which is another equalizer. And you have Walkman, which is like a music player right up there. And there are other options you can install as you go through and use Aroma Installer to set up this ROM and install it. Um, so besides that, the last thing I think I want to show you guys on this ROM that I just love because it's called Jetta X ROM. I had to do this, I'm sure. Um, and there is more options with colors and theming with Aroma Installer, which we'll go through. But I just got to show you this because I think it's awesome. So listen carefully. Yeah, that's right. I took out the S Pen and it sounds like a lightsaber turning on. I love it. This is like the best thing ever. I thought this was awesome when I heard this first time. Watch, wouldn't you put it back? It, like it's closing a lightsaber. Dude, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. I'm a really big Star Wars nerd, so that was just awesome. I love it. Just for that, I would install this round. That's like the best sound effect ever. Really, really cool. Um, very awesome. So, let's go ahead and get into the uh, install. So, if you have this reboot menu right here, you can reboot to recovery. If you have that in your ROM, use it. If you don't, um, you can get into it the manual way by powering off, then holding home, volume up, and power until you boot to recovery. We're going to do it this way right here. And we'll reboot into recovery. Uh, my recovery is Torp Recovery or Teen Win Recovery Project. 
Uh, you can also use clockwork mount recovery, either one, does not really matter. We'll go through the uh, install directions. Okay, so here we are in custom recovery. Um, now, the one thing he does say to do, the developer on his form, again, linked in the video description, is to go into advanced wipe settings and then do all of these. So we got Delvicat, cache, cache, system, and data, and go ahead and wipe all of those to give yourself a clean slate on this device so that you can flash this ROM. So we're gonna go back, go back, back we'll go to oh also before you probably do that you may want to make an android backup right here and select all these and swipe across now i have a backup already here made so that's why i kind of skipped that step i'm not too worried about it um but otherwise it's a good idea definitely to make an android backup just to cover yourself um which would be done right there so we're, we did our wipes let's go to install we're going to go to roms where i put this and it's called jedi x version 14 full zip and you can in install a smaller version. I like the full version just because it has a lot more features in it. And then you just click on it and you swipe across. And this is going to, normally you would have your screen right here doing the install. It's going to actually open Aroma Installer. And it's a very much a touch interface. You go through and you pick options to set up what you want. Which is just really cool and super easy to use. And the other thing that's cool about Aroma Installer, you could come back in here and then just run this again and pick new options and don't wipe data and it'll just change your ROM. So it's very neat. Um, so we're gonna go next. Um, so yeah, I accept the terms, next. I'm gonna say no wipes and this is what you do if you're just changing your ROM also um, because you wanna keep all your data and your apps so you don't wanna wipe anything. Um, you just wanna maybe pick a different option in a ROM installer, you can do this. Uh, but I already wiped in the other thing so it's not a big deal. You can wipe again if you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, this tells you about making a backup. I already have an Android, I'm not worried about it. Um, so I'm gonna go do not backup, hit next. Retain current modems, so that's like the drivers or the radios that get your cell signal. I'm gonna say retain them. It's the only option you had anyway. Um, you can pick your layout here, what kind of launcher you want, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go with a different one, so we'll do the five by six grid launcher. Um, AccuWeather, what kind of weather application you want. If you don't want any, we'll just go with what it's listed there. Um, this is um, in memory switching. So it swaps your internal and your external SD cards and how things are saved to them. I don't like doing that. Some people do. I'm going to leave it as no. Um, so choose theme. Last time I choose Stock Jedi, I think I want to choose uh, blue this time just to see how the difference is. Um, so here's where you can choose the AOSP camera. So I did pick that last time. And go through here and pick basically whatever you want to install right here. Wallpaper chooser, say, S voice, I mean, or not install, it's up to you guys. I don't really feel like having that in there, for example. So hit next and then just hit install now. And it's gonna install. That's it, pretty simple, it's really easy. You get to customize kind of what apps come on it. Um, to some extent, which is really nice. Kind of pick your theming, your coloring. Very, very cool. Uh, definitely like a Roman installer. Very awesome. So I'm going to let this install and we'll reboot. Uh, as soon as it's done installing, just click the reboot button and that's it. Okay, here we go. Finished up. I just like to just to point this out. It says, feel the force right at the end of the install script. I love it. Awesome. Uh, go ahead, next, and then just say finish and it's going to reboot. Reboot now, hit yes, and let it reboot. Um, first boot up, it says to give 10 minutes um, till it boots and then give it 10 minutes of it being on and just let it sit there, don't even touch it. Um, and then after that 10 minutes, it kind of gets everything kind of settle in and then do a reboot and then go ahead and set up all your stuff. Um, here you go, this is the boot animation for it, um, Jedi X. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys really quick the blue theme that I picked just to show you what it themes and then we'll wrap it up. Okay guys, we've uh, booted up here, just doing a couple pre extra things here, but this is even actually almost hard to see because of the blue wallpaper, but you guys can see you have the clock, the, the battery right here, um, ooh, all your toggles are all themed um, with this uh, blue coloring. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Yeah, most of your apps now actually are themed over to this really blue looking setup. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at settings really quick and see yeah, also these are all themed to blue So it's just a blue theme um, That kind of themes out pretty much everything in this blue coloring, which is cool if you like that I kind of like the stock app icons um, But 
not bad, not bad. Messaging, different, different little look on there for it. You can see some of these are still got the uh, stock icon on them. Um, but a lot of it was themed over. Uh, but pretty cool. I definitely like this up here in blue. That's very neat. I think the icons I'd switch back. But you can use this and then change your icons, I'm sure, with that icon chooser. Um, so you still have like the notification bar in blue, but maybe not your stock icons. Personal opinion. But anyway, that's how it does. And I'm sure that's what every color will do. Pretty much the same kind of a look. So there you go, guys. That wraps up my Jedi X install review video. Um, super cool. Love it. The lightsaber on the bottom with the S pen is amazing. Really cool. Anyway, um, as always, please check me out right up here at RootJunkie.com. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter right over there. Hope you guys like it, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.